this thing. And um, I sort of came across a standard length of tree to make so that I could get this, this right. And florist wise seems to be sold in sort of about 18 inch lengths. You get a big bundle of it like that. Um, this stuff I got, this was the last of a batch and it's got some paper on it. But it doesn't really matter because um, you're only sort of holding it, holding it in place until you glue it. The raw materials are pretty cheap. Um, I'll pass them all around. That's the that's the um, the ranch material that I use. I used to use um, just normal twine, but the thing is, if you sort of lose a bit of foliage or something happens, the white like that tree there tends to stick out a bit more than um, than the green. So um, that stuff. It's about two bucks a roll at Bunnings, and um, I, every time I'm in Bunnings, I buy a few more rolls. <coughs> it's really good. It's, it's, yeah, you go, it, and a roll like that will do a couple of hundred trees. What section of Bunnings is that what in? It's in one of the aisles. It's <laughs> but no matter which aisle I'm in, it always seems to be there. So, um, basically, what I do, I'll cut lengths of that, about a metre long each. What is it, whatever is a convenient length for you guys. Um, I've, I put about three inches of hot water in the laundry tub. When that comes out of there, um, I can never find the end of it. So I usually just pull a bit and then and cut it. When that comes out of there, it's kind of got a bit of a pigtail corkscrew, which is not really ideal for this. You want sort of the branches as perpendicular as possible. So if you put it in hot water, just miraculously where you watch it, it you put it in there and it'll just straighten out, just gets all um, the kinks out of it. I tend to cut them while they, when they dry, cut them all to about that length. Um, you can pass that pass one that way and one that way. Um, there's a lot of this stuff gets, a lot of that, those branches get wasted, which seems, I mean you can see something that's that long, a lot of it gets wasted, but it's out of, out of a tree like that, I can make two trees back to back, which I'll show you, or I can make one big one. So for the sake of what a quarter of a cent of, of material get wasted, it's just much quicker for time, time wise. It's a little easier. It's not a new technique, but it's, it makes some good, good looking trees pretty quickly. And um, you know, they you can you can make them whatever size, length, colour, thickness, and that's all personal. Um, like I said before, florist wire, I don't know if it's standard everywhere, but <coughs> the bundles I seem to get are all 18 inches long. So based on that, I sort of set this, this jig up, and there's a reason why there's two, I'll tell you that in a minute. Set this jig up for florist wire at 18 inches long. It gives me about 10 mil either, either side. These are just a couple of little clamps. Bunnings has got a lot to answer for. Um, that sits in there nicely. Um, Drop one piece of florist wire in there. Just sits between those two clamps. These are these are just the I don't know what do you call them clamps. Spring clamps. Yeah, spring clamps. That's the word. Um, I made this jig. Um, the the next one I made after this is actually melamine on top. Melamine's good. It's got a shiny surface like this. We we'll test out the hot glue gun, but it won't stick. The hot glue peels straight off it. A lot easier than pine. But I had a bit of timber sitting around, so I made this one. Um, it's fairly simple how I made that. A couple of screws through the springs, marked out the lines. You'll notice I've got a couple of screws through here. That's basically to keep the, the wire up off the timber, so I'm not sort of putting it right on there. Another reason for that in a sec. Once we've laid that first piece of um, uh, florist wire down, take my box of foliage, and as thick or as thin you can see there, I've done a few sort of heavy duty branches thinned out a bit up here, thick there. Um, it's all it's all personal preference. Good to work from a couple of photos like anything of trees, pine trees. Um, but I think personally that the thinner the, the armature, the better the tree looks. If you get a bit of daylight through your tree and you're doing a few of them, it looks a lot better and you'll they look more realistic. You know, a bit of light coming through. Um, I've got a few holes in that in there. I don't get too worried about it because like Mario was talking, nature is whatever it wants to be. So if you start making them all too perfect, it won't look right. So a few errors here and there is, is a good thing. 
the important thing that I found with this is try and keep those as square as perpendicular to the wire as you can. Doesn't matter if they've got a bit of a, a bend in them after it, as long as they're perpendicular, when you come to spin them, they won't wrap around the, the trunk. If they're perpendicular, they'll hold that plane and they'll just spin like that. If they're like that, they'll wrap all the way down. So that's the that's the main thing. Second, un, unclip your, your clamps, drop a second piece of florist wire down onto it. Try and leave these open as you do it because it won't put any pressure either way on the forest while holding together. Everyone knows those little alligator clamps? Probably three along the, um, the length of it's probably fine. And all that does is hold those two bits of wire together. <coughs> Grab your hot glue gun, run a bead of hot glue all the way along the, the length of it. Doesn't have, you don't have to soak it, you don't have to all it is is just enough to hold the hold the rope in place while it cools and you get it from there to your vice or your clamp. So the reason why there's two, everyone's used hot glue before? <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> just be, it's, it's better on your thumbs if you're patient and let it cool. You know you can you go, come on hurry up and you'll, you'll burn your fingertips. So for, for speed and, and ease, spin around, do exactly the same thing there. Guarantee you by the time you get this one done, this one will be cool. You'll take your alligator clips off. And then this one, that'll be ready to go.